guys can walk over if you want. <laughs> this behavior with the wings out is called mantling. It's how they hide their food from other predators. Just trying to make sure other hawks can't see it. This is, so is it, a falcon? Uh, a Oplomato falcon. Uh -huh. Yeah, her name's Esperanza. Look how it's holding the meat. What are you feeding it? She is getting some duck and rabbit today. Any guesses as to why she might be here? Um. <laughs> keep the uh, pigeon population down? Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah. She scares all the pigeons, doves, and other annoying little birds away so they don't make a mess everywhere. So who's tracking it? Are you? Yeah, yeah, I got a little tracker on my phone, a GPS system. Yeah. What are you guys looking at me? I know. She's pretty used to paparazzis. <laughs> so does she live here? She actually lives with me. Okay. She's got her own special enclosure in the backyard. Yeah. Want that? <laughs> and uh, drives in the car here with me. How often do you bring her down here? To this site, we come eight times a month. Okay. But we work seven different sites, so most days of the month we're out working, and she gets to fly almost every day. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so well trained to come back to you, and then. Yeah, yeah. She'll fly. She'll chase things around, and then she's trained to come grab the little lure that I was swinging around. And then she gets her meal for the day. So how much um, like flight time do does she need like every day? Or mm, probably a minimum 10 to 20 minutes of time in the air, but she usually gets more than that. <laughs> Sometimes she'll get hours. So just described it sounded like Yeah, because she'll fly multiple times a day usually. So she already flew this morning for about 15 minutes, then today for about 20 minutes. It's a good question. Uh, once a year, they, they go through, it's actually a six month long process. So in the spring and summer, they'll one by one drop each of their feathers and grow them all in new. So they don't just suddenly poof all their feathers out, but right. throughout the period of six months, they'll all drop out and regrow. Right. And what is that called? Uh, like molting. That? molting. Yeah. Because like, it looks yeah. like she's got a little like new growth here. She does, yeah. You can actually yeah. see the um, some of the feathers on the back are kind of more right. bluish or darker looking than the others. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those, ones, those are the new ones oh, that grew in this wow. year. She just started her molt. She started kind of late this year. Yeah. <laughs> she's a little behind schedule, but she's getting there. <laughs> I know. So You're okay. Is it a perjurine? It's a oplomato falcon. Ah, okay. Pretty. Whoa. Do you need to like learn all the stuff you need to know? I still don't know all the stuff I need to know. <laughs> uh, it took me probably about three to four years before I felt like I was proficient, like I was efficient at what I was doing. Yeah. <laughs> but there's so much to learn in falconry that I'm still a long ways away from knowing it all. Now do they actually, will they catch and kill when they're flying? Or? It's pretty rare. It can happen occasionally, but typically she's just chasing stuff off or even just flying around for fun. And just, it looks like she's hunting because I swing the lure around so she's diving and stooping. That mimics a hunt. So the birds in the area see a falcon hunting. Um and it scares them, they want to get out of there. Right. But occasionally an opportunity comes up where she will actually chase down and, and get something, but it's, it's very uncommon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is about average size for them? Yeah, it's average size. She's a female, so they're a little bit larger than the males. Okay. Well, they're not gonna get a lot bigger than her. She's... So the females are larger than the males, is mm -hmm. that common? In raptors it is, okay. hawks and falcons, eagles, all of them. Okay. The females are bigger and their job when during the nesting season, they stay next to the nest and you know, they're incubating the eggs and they need to be bigger and stronger to protect the nest. Protectors, yeah. yeah, and the males, they go out and they do the hunting because they want to be faster and more agile to catch a bunch of small things and bring it back to, to feed the young. Huh. Oh, yeah. 
Now, do you have to clip them or just no, just nothing? No, we actually want them to stay as sharp as they can. Okay. Helps them with defense and perching and all that. And the falcons have these really long kind of spidery toes, yeah. whereas hawks so you'll notice have it. really thick toes. That's because they're hunting style. Oh, the, the hawks, they hunt by squeezing things with their feet. So they, wanna, you know, so they want the really strong, thick toes. Okay. Yeah. And falcons are more bird hunters. They want big, long toes that act kind of like a net when they're going through the air catching birds. Yeah. And uh, they, don't, they don't kill with their feet. They kill either with the impact, the speed, or with their beak, they'll break the neck. Yeah, so a little bit different design for them. So the speed, they'll just attack. Yeah, they'll they'll, they'll attack. dive and then yeah. at the last moment they swing, swing their feet forward. Okay. And that last that back toe called the hallux, it's bigger and it'll just poof, hit the neck and, and that speed will just knock the bird out. Yeah, and then and then you go in. Yeah, then you go in. And you'll also notice if you since you're getting a nice close look at her uh, on her beak, there's the main point and then it goes back up and there's kind of another little tooth kind of looks like a little point. Oh, so yeah. That second little point right there, it's at the right angle. Oh, right. yeah. There? Yeah. It's so that little point, something that falcons have and hawks don't. Okay. And that's to help with, with breaking the necks when they bite. She's kind of tricky. This hood doesn't fit perfectly, so it's a little tricky to get on. Um, so I have to put it on at just the right angle where it kind of pops off again. Too bad. <laughs> Good. Great. Thank Lindsay, you so much. All right. Yeah. Lindsay, it's great you meeting so you. Would shake your hands like all like bird okay. meat. It's okay. You let us meet uh, Esperanza. That was very exciting. Fantastic. Thank all you. All right. Well, you guys. Yeah, have a great Thank night. You.